This is the chariot of victory, of swift victory. You are having the best energy right here, right now. This is wonderful, beautiful, love. This is just great energy. Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to my channel, Cherish Daily Medium. We're going to do a weekend steamer, yes. Um, let's see, before I get started, I want to um, encourage anyone who has not subscribed to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I put out a video. Here, we're seekers of spiritual insights, encouragement, guidance from our spiritual team. Welcome. If you're returning, you know how I feel about you. I love you. I appreciate you. It's full moon. So y'all, what's up? Are y'all ready to celebrate, you know, what's coming in? Uh, you set your intentions at the new moon and um, hopefully you've been doing the chakra work and consulting with your guides throughout the month. And now, you know, it's the fullness is here. So congratulations if you've been manifesting love, if you've been manifesting money. Um, yeah, just sit back, go with the flow and let it all come in. Happy birthday to the Leos. It's Leo season and it's about to get hot. <laughs> and I don't mean the weather. Um, so happy birthday to all the Leos. Hope y'all have a great, great birthday, uh, solar return and all that good stuff. Let's see what else. Um, it, the website is live. So um, if you have not already checked it out, um, I've been blowing it up all week. So. Um, it's the queen, the queen of wands, tarot.com. Uh, y'all check it out. Um, I have some things uploaded on my blog already. I'm going to be putting, um, projects together that we can do together to, um, grow together, to make our world a little bit better, at least from my perspective. So y'all check it out. Y'all, um, you know, keep, keep informed. I'm going to keep adding elements to it so if you'd like to stay in the know just send me an email and there's a there's a contact form on the website that you can shoot me an email directly so i make it very easy if you'd like to book a personal reading it's so much easier now you don't have to go here there and everywhere you can do it right there from my website so uh just click on just go to the website click services and then book a reading something like that so yeah it's it's all there i'm trying to make it even more streamlined so that we can stay connected you know no matter what happens in the world we can stay connected y'all know i appreciate you okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a weekend steamer if they say detox i'm detoxing <laughs> and there are you know that requires space and time and i hope that y'all are being patient with yourselves and that you are taking the time to listen to your body listen to your um intuition and go with what is best for you so um yeah what what i'm gonna do is ask our guys what insights they would have for us for the season i think that's a good one all right let's call in our team angels of love and light Spirit of the Most High, our higher selves, ancient ones, give us some insights into the season ahead. What do we need to see, acknowledge, and maybe put some feet to these prayers? for this Leo season. Help me to see clearly. Help me to communicate clearly. Okay. One more. That's it. Okay. Seven of Wands on the bottom. Stand in your ground. Um, all right, right off the bat, three. Page of Pentacles, 
a student. Maybe you're learning something new. Seven of Swords, that Seven of Swords keeps coming out. This is a sneaky person. Six of Cups, maybe somebody from your past. Maybe an ex from your past. Yeah, look, the moon, something, some secrets. Mm. I don't like, I don't like that combination. And I'm gonna tell you why. This is, this has to do with um, anything that's material. It could be family, it could be your job, anything that, um, you know, is, is manifested already. So let's just say it's your, your money, right? A sneaky person is plotting, trying to get to whatever you have. And it could be somebody from your past that's been holding some secrets. So I don't like that, but let's see how it goes. We, we, need, to, we need to be in the know of these energies. Um, Leo season, like I'm saying, you know, it's, it's really sensual, you know? <laughs> Be on your P's and Q's, you know? Okay. Well, <laughs> we're not going to get away from it. But the, the good thing is... Um, these are minor arcanas. So the main energy is the six of cups, somebody from your past. Um, when I, when I see this, I like to think soulmate energy, but it doesn't have to be all the time. This is indicating somebody from your past is the main energy. <laughs> uh, just something to focus on. And the challenge is the seven of swords a sneaky person, somebody plotting, somebody using, um, you know, quick words. I was thinking about something today. I, I watch a lot of marketing stuff, right? Business stuff. And a lot of information about making videos and, you know, getting, going viral. One of the main things is talk faster, talk faster. Well, when I was growing up and all the things that I learn is that a fast talker is somebody that you need to watch out for because they're trying to they're trying to swindle you out of something you know they want you to um they want to be faster than you and with this energy they don't have your best interest at heart they want something from you they're manipulating you and if it's somebody from your past you already know what they're like you know but in their way of thinking, in the way that they think about things, they think that they can outsmart you. So what we need to see and acknowledge for the month is this energy. It's passing through, so it's just temporary, but it is something that you may be experiencing for the next couple of weeks. It's just the next couple of weeks. But you are the king of swords. You're already, you already know. You've already outsmarted the, you know, the sly person. So you see them coming, right? You're watching this video. So <laughs> bye-bye. They can't get over on you. But this, this energy, the king of swords is logical thinking. It's the rules have been established. I have established them. We all know what the rules are. And um, if you step to me wrong, uh, that's the end. You know, you can only go so far with the, with the King of Swords. Well, they probably deserve it. You know, if this, this Swords energy, this Seven of Swords energy, if this is the way that they are, and they are getting in the way of your progress. See, here's another thing. If they're getting in the way of your progress, then they deserve to be cut off, you know, in the worst way. Totally obliterated. And I'm not talking about violence. I'm just talking about you um, severing ties, soul ties, any kind of ties that will keep you bound to somebody else. And how that works out in your life is really up to you. 
Now, another thing about this main energy is it's so beautiful. It really is beautiful because the other side of it, like I said, is it can be nostalgia. Somebody from your past, um, yes, but also someone from your deep past. Someone who has like that soulmate energy, like I'm saying. So if this sneaky person is trying to get in the way of that, yeah, this swords energy, this king of swords energy is is in order or at least that's how i see it so we have two cards mm. so you've just been working you've just been putting in your work you've been um you know trying to get better at your craft so far um no major arcanas this is a minor arcana so you're just working you're just putting in the work doing your thing and this is beautiful energy because uh what was it the page of, page of pentacles that came out um, in that little stack. Yeah, you are studying. You're trying to, you know, establish something for you. You took the gift that the divine gave you as a seed. You planted it. You watered it. And now you've come to this place where you're at the eight of pentacles. You, you're really putting in the work. So... Um, that's why this is looking the way that it is. Somebody isn't really appreciating the level of work that you have been doing. And the Seven of Swords energy, it can be so malicious that, um, you know, they might not come to you. They might be talking about you behind your back and making all kinds of, you know, trouble for you or trying to make trouble for you outside of your awareness. But even so, you fortified yourself because you're this king of um, this king of swords energy is in your deep past. This is the way that you operate. What is in your awareness? What you're focused on is taking things slowly. You're not letting anyone rush you into anything. You're making logical, um, methodical moves being guided by the divine this is the temperance card this card is showing that you have been doing the work um from the last reading the the angels the archangels have been in um in the midst they've been blocking any kind of uh negativity that's that may have been trying to come against you and that's what you're focused on. So you've probably, it's just gone over your head. <laughs> it's just gone over your head. Let them talk, you know? And I hate for these readings to go in this direction. I love positive readings. In the end, I think this is gonna turn out to be positive. I don't like the rah-rah, but sometimes it comes. It just is what it is because not everybody is vibrating at a high level, you know? And, and if you, if you've been doing your homework, if you've been studying, you look, Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. If you have been doing your due diligence and, and pouring into yourself, you've been raising your vibration from this fearful, um, who's talking about me, what's going on, and all of that, you know, rah-rah, up to um, compassion and understanding and, and love. I've been putting out some content on the... Um, on Facebook and Instagram, well, I guess Twitter too, to help us to um, raise our vibration, you know, work on that crown chakra energy so that we are walking in our true and authentic self. So continue to do that. The, um, the angels are with you, you know, the archangels. I'll, um, let's see. I, 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 what did I do? It's on TikTok. Um, I, I posted a few snippets of the book of Enoch that should give you some encouragement. Um, I found some resources on YouTube about, um, well, the, the Archangel. I got some information, some videos um, of the angel messages. They are wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's see. Just try to come out, but they didn't. Okay, let's see. <gasps> see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about. Listen, 
stay on your grind. Do your work with joy, okay? If you are doing your work, do it with a smile. You know, be happy about what you're doing. And if you can't, go to sleep, take a nap, go to sleep early, do whatever you have to do, drink more water. Because if you're feeling uh, drained or tired or whatever ails you, you have to put in that good stuff, you know? And believe me, I know it's not easy, but just follow follow the, the promptings, you know, to listen to your body, listen to the thoughts that's going to your mind, but don't, or that's going through your mind, but don't judge them. Look at what's coming in. This is another major arcana. This is the sun card. This is optimism. You've won. The most high is with you. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This challenge you can get, you can get by this. You're going to get by this. Just know that it's there. Just know that it's there. You're probably gonna have a whole lot of rah-rah in the in the distance. Let it be. You just keep doing your work because you're getting rewarded for it. Look, look at how these colors are lining up. You're doing your work, got a lot of energy flowing, positive vibes, just beautiful, beautiful energy. And you're getting rewarded for it. So um, that's that. That's wonderful. I love that. Keep being smart. Use your um, emotional intelligence as well as your, um, yes, yes, yes. So we had this again. This, we had this, I think, as the main energy maybe two, two weeks ago, or not two weeks ago, but two weekend steamers ago. This is the chariot of victory, of swift victory. You are having the best energy right here, right now. This is wonderful, beautiful, love. This is just great energy because you were in a situation that was probably dominated by this seven of swords energy sneaky people you know people that are just not really you know up to your energy and you made the conscious decision with the help of your your love team your guides to get out of dodge and that's what you're doing now you're going as fast as you possibly can out of that negative energy and <laughs> look here five of swords some kind of manipulator is not happy about it. You cannot uh, reside in that low vibration of fear, pride, um, arrogance. You, you can't do it if you're trying to put out good things in the world. You'll be putting out hell, you know, you'll keep, and you don't want that. So in your in your environment somebody is seeing that you're standing your ground you have a position and you're sticking with it the seven of wands is this the second seven no but look at this this six seven eight there's two sevens yeah there's two sevens okay this there's some synchronicities here i like it there's a seven so there's three sevens already you are in a space where the most high is with you. You are in a, a very spiritual space right now. Protect that, protect your energy, protect your vibe, protect your environment. Um, I have an incense going here. <laughs> Make sure that you're, you're practicing um, all these things that you're, that you're learning. You know, if, if something doesn't seem like it's, it's good for you, you don't have to stick with it. Nobody has the blueprint for your life but you. You know, we can tap into those things. We can, we can work on those things if you're not sure of where to go. Um, and on that note, I just wanna, wanna let anybody know that when you book a reading with me, we're not peeking into anybody else's energy. We're not gonna do that, you know, because it's about you. We're here to raise our vibration. And by raising our vibration, we are affecting our environment, you know? So page of wands, <laughs> page of wands, the devil, the empress, knight of wands, and king of, uh, knight of cups. 
that's three knights, two knights. Two knights and a page, and then a devil and an empress. That's a little story. I'm not gonna go into it, but there's a lot, a lot of um, movement. It's not fixed energy. It's, you know, it's kind of all over the place though. Okay, so what you wanna do is build with someone. Three of Pentacles. You want to make, you you're, you are doing that. That's why you're putting in all this work. You're wanting to build something that's gonna last and that's gonna be beautiful. I can dig it. Let's see what the possible outcome is. I like this, see? See what I'm saying? It, it, looks, it looks like a, a, a whole mess, chaos, but it's not, it really isn't. Okay, so three cards came out and I love this. I do, I love this. So the um, hangman, I'm not gonna take him as the final outcome because I want just one card, but look, you have the hangman energy. So you've been trying to get a different perspective on things. Three of wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in. 10 of swords, the end of a hard time. Whatever that has been ailing you, I can't remember everything that I said at the beginning here, but um, I, I, I know that we're going through a lot. All of us collectively are going through a lot. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> How about positivity? Okay, this is the outcome. It's a major arcana, it's the hierophant. This could be, this could mean marriage for some people. This uh, union, you know, family. It could also, for some others, it could be that you're going to get some spiritual enlightenment, um, you know, with someone, um, maybe like a counselor. Yeah, because you're getting over some sort, something that has hurt you. You know, you're resting. This is the four of swords, uh, three of swords. That's a heartbreak. And um, you're taking your much needed rest. Yes, rest from this seven of swords energy, no doubt. All right, so it's the, it's the full moon today. So I want to get a moonology card, see what, see what our guides have, um, any kind of information, encouragement, wisdom that we should take in for our full moon. Full moon energy. Full moon energy, what, what do you have for us? For this full moon energy. Leo season. One card, please. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're trying to give me four, but I'm not gonna take four. Just one one. One card. All right, that one wants to fall. Okay, good. Conclusions are, look at this. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Okay, so um, some of you may like this, that, where is it? I, okay, so I put it back in there. That 10 of swords, the um, end of a hard time, conclusions, things coming to an end, things being eclipsed out of your life, right? I love that. All right, I wanna get, I want to get maybe another oracle card or two. Yeah, y'all tell me what's going on for the weekend. What's y'all been up to? <laughs> what has been up? What's been going on? What have y'all been up to? Tell me if you've gone to the website. Tell me. Tell me what kind of things you would like to see, maybe. Um, I have such a, I have a broad imagination. So you'll see a lot of things. Look at what I'm talking about, victory. See, victory, you're already a winner. You've already won. <laughs> and why? Because you, you have taken the reins. You have put in the work. You know, you're not letting anybody else do it for you. You're not waiting on anybody else. You're, you're not complaining about your situation. You're just putting your nose to the grind and going for it. 
And yeah, so victory. What's the number on that? 28, that's 10, so that's one new beginnings. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, and the fifth chakra, okay. The archangel, um, this is Michael, oh no, Gabriel. This is your protector and messenger. Now, more archangels are showing up. So they're, this is saying they are still here with you. See, they're still here. They are still giving you um, guidance there. Um, now this archangel is helping you. Now this is the fifth chakra. This is you talking, you expressing yourself, you saying what you mean, standing on your, see, standing your ground. You have the, the backing of the most high and your love team. Don't lose sight of that, you know? Just keep going. I love this. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, one more, one more um, oracle card. This is from the Psychic Oracle. And I like to get this, I like to get the Psychic Oracles because, you know, with all this positivity, these cards bring us back to reality and say, okay, okay, yes, you're doing great, but this is where you need to work. This is, this is what's going on. And, um, like I was saying before, we are not peeking into anybody else's energy. That's this energy. That's that seven of swords, sneaky energy. We are peeking into our energy and our possibilities and what we need to do so that we can be better people, you know, and um, fulfilling our own destiny. And sometimes that requires us to have a um, reality check, a wake up call, because we are becoming, we are not um, already, you know, in a sense, I guess we are already, we're, we're already perfect. We're perfect in the divine, but as we reside in these bodies, we still have work to do. We don't understand everything. Look, the throat chakra, here we go. There's, that's confirmation, confirmation. Watch your words. Are you getting in your, your own way? Are you the sneaky one? Are you the one that's uh, talking and saying things that you shouldn't be saying? <laughs> I didn't say it, I'm just the messenger. But check yourself. It's not coming out for you know no reason at all. So if we take this to mean um, you have a soulmate and your ways are getting in the way of being, you know, in communion and in a great relationship, then check yourself. If you're being dishonest, if you're not telling everything, if you're not being truthful about everything, then, you know, you might need to check yourself on that. Because if you don't, um, it's going to backfire on you because you have a team of angels around you that are working in concert with the team of angels around the people that are in your life, you know? And if you ignore that, um, you'll be working against yourself. So make sure that you are listening for understanding and you are speaking with kindness, great grace and love more chakra work more chakra work okay so i'm gonna leave it there um y'all i hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend a wonderful week until next time namaste peace